Hi, my name is Emily Lasea, and this morning as we're journeying through Psalms, I am going to bring you one of my uh, favorite chapters out of all the Psalms. It is Psalms 51. It is where David has just sinned, and he is pleading for mercy, uh, and Nathan the prophet has visited him as well. Um, I guess to understand why it is my favorite Psalm, I need to give you a little bit of a backstory. And I have been a Christian all my life. I have always loved God and always believed God to be true. But there was a time in my life where um, some disappointments had happened. Um, I got comfortable and I started making friends and having fun. And one thing led to another where I just slowly drifted away and lost connection, true connection with God. As that story goes, it gets worse and worse, and you start sinning a little bit more and more. Sin makes more and more room in your heart and life. And pretty soon, I found myself um, in complete disconnect and living a dishonest life, living a life of uh, serving two masters, if you will, which the Bible clearly says that doesn't work. And it led to extreme depression, of course, anxiety, but the emptiness and disconnect that I felt uh, from God was the worst part. Not to mention the negative effects that I was having from the sin that I was doing as well. Um, But thank God He never leaves us. And uh, just like Nathan (laughs) in the chapter, you know, Nathan came because God wanted him to, to redirect David and make sure David knew what he needed to do. And uh, I'm very thankful that that happened in my life. And through an overnight process, as well as a long-term process, God renewed me with him. And because of that, um, created a life within me that was truly ready to obey and yield to the Lord like never before because I'd seen and felt what God has brought me through. I've seen and knew now the true healing power of God and what it meant to live life without God. The way David writes this Psalm echoes truly what my heart felt, what maybe your heart feels. I mean, in no better words, what he feels, the process he goes through to make himself right with the Lord He was truly ahead of his time when he says, it is not a sacrifice that you desire. You know, because back in those days, that's what they're doing, uh, but a broken spirit. So if you find yourself here in this place, let these words of this chapter fuel you. If the Lord is bringing you to this point to truly transform you back from a cold, lukewarm way of life or a sinful life, or a dishonest life, where you're serving, trying to serve two masters, to a life that's on fire, truly full of joy, uh, and just brought back to the love of God because He's ready and waiting for that for you life. So let's go ahead and read Psalms chapter 51. For the choir director, a Psalm of David regarding the time Nathan the prophet came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. Because of your great compassion, blot out the stains of my sin. Wash me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. For I recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say, and your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb. My footnotes here say the Hebrew reads in the inward parts. It desires honesty. Teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again, 
You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach your ways to rebels, and they will return to you. Forgive me for shedding blood, O God who saves. Then I will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Unseal my lips, O Lord, that my mouth may praise you. You do not desire a sacrifice, or I would give one. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart. Look with favor on Zion and help her. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with sacrifices offered in the right spirit, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will again be sacrificed on your altar.